Joining us now on the phone is Governor Ned Lamont. Governor, thanks for being with us here today. Hi, Dennis. So first of all, you got quite a shout out from the governor. He called you one of the best governors in America. How did that make you feel? No, when the president says that, it makes you feel uh, really positive. I think he likes what Connecticut's doing. He likes what Connecticut is doing on daycare and childcare and taking the lead and the biggest expansion there and helping people get back to work. Um, so I, I appreciated that. And he was generous with his praise for a few of our folks, including Luke Bronin, who's right here with me. You know, the president basically coming here, it really shows how important Connecticut is to this administration. What kind of things would you like the president to do for Connecticut? I'd like to see a lot of what we're doing in Connecticut, uh, uh, part of what we're doing nationally. I'd like to see a real expansion of daycare and child care. I'd like him to get that uh, infrastructure bill passed and passed now. We're, we're an old state. We have old infrastructure. I can take 10 or 15 minutes off your commute by car or by train if you pass this infrastructure bill. And not to mention what it means in terms of really good paying jobs. So I saw something a little unusual in the video today, Governor, that we don't see too often, and that is a tie around your neck. How difficult was that decision to make today to wear a tie? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. It's the leader of the Western world. I think a tie is probably appropriate, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So the president called you one of the best governors in America. It would be se seemingly the perfect time to announce your re-election plans. What do you think? No, I'm not doing any of that politics. Today's a really important day. The President of the United States um, is here in the state of Connecticut. He's come before. His administration keeps visiting. They like what we're doing here, and I like the fact that he's uh, paying special attention to our state. And now we're on our way to the Dodge Center, where uh, one of Chris Dodd's best friends in the world is uh, the President of the United States. And uh, together they're going to celebrate what makes the Dodge Center so important. You know, Governor, I had the chance to tour the Dodd Center with Senator Dodd the other day and get an inside look, and it really is fascinating. How valuable to the state of Connecticut and to the University of Connecticut do you think this center will be? I think um, the strength of America is uh, in our values, in our principles, and human rights. There's nobody else that does what the Dodd Center does in terms of putting up an exclamation part, point on that's the power of the United States is the power of our ideals. So the fact that it's here at UConn, here celebrating Chris and Tom Dodd, I think is a very important. I think people pay attention to it, and I hope we educate a lot of people who understand the power of our ideals. You know, Governor, one quick last question. It's very difficult to do things last minute with the President of the United States due to COVID and due to security restrictions, but I know there are some at UConn who would like to take him to the dairy bar. Do you think that's at all possible? I will try. He would love it. He loves ice cream. So I think that would be a pretty good fit. But I'll tell you, they're worth the daycare center. He also loves kids. He, he was does. surrounded by kids, and it was just a really memorable time that he made the effort to come to Connecticut. We so appreciate it. Well, Governor Lamont, always great to chat with you. We'll see you soon. All right. Thanks, Governor.